Welcome guys to my channel again and today I'm, I'm super excited to show you how to make this beautiful and easy crochet headband. Look at this texture. I'm just in love with it. Uh, do you like it? I'm sure you do. For this headband I was using a vintage yarn. I'm not sure you can find it but it's a French yarn, it's a 100% acrylic and it has uh, uh, 95 meters per 40 grams. So uh, I would say it's a fingering yarn. Look, it's not, it's not worsted weight yarn. So I consider it's a fingering one. For this one I was using a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. So if you want to crochet the same headband please join me and I will show you what to do and how many stitches to cast on. So I cast on 18 stitches plus one. Uh, there width of my head is 10.5 centimeters. So in the second chain from hook I make a slip stitch and in the next stitch I make a half double crochet. Then I'm going to repeat everything till the end of row. Slip stitch and half double crochet. slip stitch and half double crochet slip stitch and half double crochet So you, now you make a slip stitch and the very last stitch will be always a half double crochet stitch. Make a chain one and turn. Let's repeat. In the next, in the first chain make a slip stitch and then in the next chain make a half double crochet and repeat everything till the end of row, slip stitch, half double crochet, slip stitch, half double crochet. Later on when you make more and crochet more of this stitch you will see where the, where there should be slip stitch and where there should be uh, half double crochet just remember that the last stitch will be always a half double crochet stitch slip stitch and the last stitch underneath both loops half double crochet that's it now you're going to repeat row number two again so you start always from the slip stitch and then half double crochet in the next stitch and again slip stitch and the half double crochet in the next stitch slip stitch and the half double crochet in the next stitch
and go on to the end of row and until your headband reach desired length that is equal to circumference of your head. So welcome back. As I am doing this headband for my uh, two years um, daughter, uh, and her cir circumference is uh, 50 centimeters. So it's um, I've done exactly 50 centimeters. Now I made a chain one and pull through on this last row. I take a yarn needle. So now fold on ends, left hand and the right hand, and make so called sandwich. So you insert it. Like this one inside another one. And now what we need is to sew these two layers together. So the most important, you go through all layers. Like this. Go, you see, I'm going through all layers. I pull tight. I go underneath stitches as higher as possible. back and forth back and forth back and forth I'm trying to reach this corner with a yarn needle just at the end that get rid of holes that can be on the right side. Then you, you weave in ends and now turn your hand bent right side out and we are done. I really like this twist version a lot. If you need a written description, please visit my website. Uh, it is a crazyhands.net. And I hope you you enjoyed this video tutorial and I cannot wait to see your finished headband headbands. And I hope to see you back soon. Bye.